What's up, guys? Welcome to Heyday. I'm Spiderbite, your host, and we're going to be talking about the mine today. See the mine over here? Yay, I have it unlocked. The mine unlocks at level 24. It uh, costs 26,000 coins to repair it, and uh, I can't remember exactly how much how much time it took to uh, open up. I don't know if it was a day or 12 hours or 16 hours, but it does take some time to open up, just like when you put a uh, piece of machinery down on your farm, like the juice press, I think was like a day, was a day and a half or something around that for it to actually, you know, be unwrapped, right? So the mine, you repair it, it takes some time to repair, then you have access to it. You don't actually go into it, um, but what you do, and uh, I'll tell you why I have all this ore lying around. Looks like I have a bunch of silver and platinum ore lying there. Um, what you do is once you have it open, what also unlocks for you on level 24 are smelters. And you can buy up to five smelters. But the smelters increase in cost. So I can't remember if the first one was 18,000. The next one was something like 29,000 the or 28,000. The third one was 30. 32,000 or 36,000 approximately, 41,000, and the, the fifth one's going to be a little bit more expensive than that, probably closer to 50,000, right? So you can have five smelters. Now, I haven't really found a need for five, not that I really have the gold available to buy five anyway, so I bought three, and I have all three of them, I purchased the next two slots, so you only get one Q slot, with the smelter, which is different from most of your other equipment. When I unlocked my juice press, I got two slots uh, unlocked without you having to use any diamonds, whereas the smelter, it's one. But the times to actually take some of these uh, raw materials, so let's look at the raw material here in our barn. So we have the silver ore, right? So you have silver ore, gold ore, and platinum ore. And I only have one. And once you have three, it takes three to melt it and press it into a silver bar in your smelter, okay? So the silver bar takes eight hours, and that's why there was only one queue unlocked when you first uh, get the equipment or get the smelter. Uh, you have eight hours for a silver bar, 12 hours for a gold bar, and 16 hours for a platinum bar, all right? So, and that's why probably <laughs> one of the good reasons why they provide you with the ability to purchase five of them so you can keep five going at, um, at all times, uh, considering the amount of ore that you can get from your mine. All right, well, how do we get ore from our mine? Well, one thing I'm going to do here, and this is a little trick that I did um, just to try and keep, you know, try and get rid of stuff that I have in my barn, but at the same time using it to my advantage as opposed to just selling it. So if I look at my barn, the way you get the ore is by using, let's see, we got to scroll down here, TNT, a TNT barrel in the mine, or a dynamite, stick a dynamite, or a shovel. Now, you might have used those already to clear out your, your farm. Um, if you have these, these pools of water, use the, sh the shovel to dig it out. If you have the collection of rocks, use the TNT. If you have the single rock, use the, the, the dynamite. But once you clear out your entire farm, I really have no use of them until I start expanding into these areas and we have to take trees down and take other rocks. But until then, I'm using them all on the mine. So what I did was, and, and that's how I got all this ore here, was uh, at one point my barn was full. And what we're going to do here, I'm just going to collect the feed here that I have on my feed mills just to fill up my barn. So my barn is practically full. So we're at 348 out of 350. Okay, here's 349 with the, the cream we just picked up. I guess we better make some more stuff here first. We'll make, we'll make that. There we go. Okay, so, and yeah, we're now we're down to 342. Okay, so 345, all right? So let's go and uh, we'll pick up some of this stuff. Actually, here, why don't we just milk the cows? 345, we'll milk five cows. There, our barn's full, right? So we have 350. But I know that I have this TNT, so I have three, three TNTs. Now, when you use them on, on the mine, and I'll show you how, um, when you use them on the mine, you're exploding TNT in the mine, and in return, you're getting some ore. Uh, same with the dynamite and same with the shovel. You're digging it out. A sh uh, dynamite gives you two metals, TNT or two ore, basically, so either silver, platinum, or gold. 
TNT gives you three and a shovel gives you four. So obviously the shovel is more valuable. Occasionally, instead of an ore, you might get a diamond. Okay, so I've gotten a couple diamonds from, from the, uh, the mine. So if I click on the mine, the barn is full, right? So you click on it or tap on it and um, you can just swipe the dynamite over and you're going to get two ore. So now, obviously, because I've used the dynamite, my barn storage went down one, so decreased by one. So when I click on, when I tap on the mine again, I'm going to pick up that ore. So you're basically doing a one-for-one -one trade. But once you put it into, you know, you've queued it up into your smelter, you're using it, you're taking it out of, out of your, your barn inventory, and you're, in a sense, in essence, uh, putting it into your smelter inventory, right? Um, in the form of, of it sitting three ores sitting in a queue ready to be smelted into uh, um, uh, a silver or a gold or a platinum bar. So we're just going to keep doing that. So there's another one. We'll pick up, pick one ore up. We'll throw down the TNT. Remember the TNT is going to give us three. We'll pick one up. Use another TNT. Pick one up. Oops. Use another TNT. We'll pick one up. And two shovels, so that's going to give us four. Pick one up, and then four. And then that's it, okay? So now we're down to uh, 349 out of 350 in our barn storage. And we have all this ore that when a Q slot becomes available on our smelter, then we could use it. So if we take a look now, now we have enough capacity or enough uh, raw material in our barn to create two silver bars, no gold bars, and no platinum bars. So once these smelters are done, this one will be done in 3 hours, 8 minutes, 2 hours, 30 minutes, and 7 hours, 18 minutes. So we'll queue up this one and this one with those two silver bars. And then once this uh, last smelter finishes its gold bar and we have a queue slot available, then, only then, will I go over there and I'll grab some ore enough to give me three, three ores towards a particular bar to smelt. All right? Um, and then what you use those for, I haven't seen any of the visitors request or, uh, request these bars or ore. Here, you want some, uh, yeah, there you go. There's some corn. I haven't seen the visitors request it, and I haven't seen it on a boat order. So I'm not sure if that's the case. The barn is full. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm not sure if it ever comes up on a boat order or if it ever comes up where one of these visitors will want some ore. Uh, but it does come up on the board right? The truck orders. So if we look at, and it's always Frank's factory. So Frank's factory in this order, he wants three platinum bars. This order, he wants five silver bars. And this order, he wants three, uh, four, sorry, four silver bars and a gold bar. So you can either sell it that way. I mean, you can sell the ore. It doesn't really sell. I would have expected it to sell for a bit more than it does. So one platinum ore, you can only max out the price at 25. If uh, you try and sell like a gold bar, then the price max out at 147. So I just use them for the for the truck orders, and I always keep my smelters running. And uh, the only reason, like I said, you can probably get away with only purchasing one additional Q slot because even if you're producing two silver bars, it's still going to take 16 hours, and you can just time yourself. Uh, when to put more in the queue within those 16 hours after the first one is done. So you have an eight-hour window of putting another one in so that your smelter is always running 24-7 and never stops. All right, and uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Like I said, every now and then you will get diamonds. I didn't get a diamond that time, but it's only a single diamond. Uh, it would have been nice because I want to buy an extra queue slot in my juice press. But um, that's how you use the mine. So don't sell... Don't sell that dynamite or the TNT or the shovels. Make sure uh, you use it on your mine. And I have yet to be required to purchase any of those items. So to be quite honest, at this point, I really don't see the advantage of having more smelters. I guess if I have extra cash lying around, it may make sense because I can just smelt more metal and just sell, sell it more often, be able to fill these orders faster, which would probably be good, but I have other things that I need to purchase. I'm a little behind on, uh, such as I gotta still have to repair the fishing boat and I have to pur purchase an ice cream maker. So I think the boat is what I'm going to unlock next. I still need just over 8,000 gold in order to do that. All right, so that's it. That's the mine. Just wanted to bring you that. And uh, there are going to be a lot more videos that we're gonna be bringing you for Heyday, talking about various stuff, including my my field layout here my um yeah the crop 
the crop layout and how I managed that and how I managed to, you know, maintain sort of uh, a, a good level of crops so that I'm never waiting for crops to be produced when I'm trying to uh, make something in my production equipment. All right. So we'll catch you next time here on Heyday NGT Mobile Gaming. I'm Spiderbite. I'm out.